right. Well, hello. Um, I guess, right? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Um, well, we're back. We're back with some more Grow Song of the Ever Tree. Really loving this game. Enjoying this game a lot. And here we are. We're, 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 we're doing it, dude. We're doing it live. Um, hello, everybody. Hello, James. Hello, Queen. Hello, Mana Forever. And hello, everyone that will uh, join in uh, eventually. And then hello, everyone in the replay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's always good to see you in the replay. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> it's always good to see you uh, watching the watching the stream in the replay. Watching that replay, it's always good. Anyways, uh, today, I mean, pretty simple, I guess. Uh, we followed the story. We did the festival at the end of the last stream. Uh, we bought a few things from the festival. And uh, town expansion, farm expansion is, is something that we're going to be doing. If you didn't watch the entire five-hour stream, I, I totally get it. I understand. If you did not watch the entire... Um, five hour stream uh towards the end of it like the last couple of hours our farm got some crazy like expansion and we started to get even more animals and critters and it, it, it was just all good it was very good all right so anyways um yeah so let, let, let's go ahead and stop talking and dive back into it i think we're on a new day here yeah we're on a new, new day by the way everyone in the discord now going into the discord and uh sharing starting now to share their pictures and their screenshots of 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 them taking selfies with the creatures or even posting um their towns i i'm really excited to see more of that so that's really good all right so today we're going to head into that town or tend to your tree world uh we're gonna be heading into the town just so i can get a nice recap i haven't played this game since we were on stream so um yeah you know it's been a few days since i've last played which is all good in the hood hello just mash the like like button thank you leslie hello leslie how are you doing hope you're doing fine all right um so do we have another one claim do we have another gym i think we might yeah all right well we do <laughs> there you go awesome cool 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 uh, i had half an hour left on the first one but wasn't gonna miss this one so i exited that video before here excellent fantastic absolutely fantastic now there's a few people that need uh some some housing right uh luckily now we have this kind of expanded out over here uh we took out the uh the the purple you know the guck <laughs> the guck so we can kind of expand over there and hire another resident which we should do because uh really we have um we have other businesses that we can bring into town which is really good so apparently we got this oh my god rainbow wallpaper Look at that. That's very good. Okay, 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 okay. So let's... Oh, no, no, no. Let's go into this, and let's go ahead and build ourselves more houses. Now, what was this... Wait, no, no. What was the um, other things that we got? So the other things that we got were, were a general store. Yes, a general store we can build. We can build a general store. We just needed more room. Uh, we could build a library also, because there's, we actually have a librarian we just um, recruited into, this, into the town. So... I'm going to be building this first. I'm going to be building this first. And kind of sneak it in like a little bit right there. Because that pathway out to the bow, out to the back there, I don't want to block it too much. But I think that will do. So we want a library, right? We want a library. And then we want a general store. And then, a, a, like, I think we made the cafe or we were thinking about making the cafe. And then eventually the cafe... Cafe is not too much of a, of a of a thing right now because um, we just we don't have anyone that can work the cafe. We have someone that can work the uh, the library, which is good. Now for the general store, this is a little bit tricky. Now where would I put the general store? Oh, oh, this is very tricky. I gotta say my I got to say my I, I got to say I myself just got this game yesterday and it's so fun to be honest. Hey, Changer! Hopefully I said your name right there. Changer! <laughs> Changer Lang! How's it going? Good to see you. It is, it is pretty fun, right? It is pretty fun. I, 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 even myself, like, I'm like, this is pretty cool. Um, I think I'm gonna move this stone and maybe put the general store off into this direction by the community garden. So I'm gonna wait on the general store for now. Um, small house. We need another one. We need another one. Now, this is what I was thinking. Putting a nice little house right here next to this other one. That will be that. Very well. Um, now, for the decorations. I think we're just good on the decorations for now. We do have more benches. Well, because we took out the benches, I think, 
maybe somewhere over here. I'm going to wait on that. And then pathways, if anything, I would like to connect. Um, I would like to connect the pathways from here to there, right? So let's go boom. Through. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. And then I would like to go across the way, possibly. That's to be determined because that is, you know what? I don't like that. Can I get rid of stuff? Can I? I don't even know if I can. <laughs> I don't know if I can delete um, pathways. Hmm. Very well. I don't see a button to do that. That's all right. I guess we can build on top of it. But the, the idea here, I mean, this is a pretty big spot to not have something. But maybe I throw in decorations like uh, benches and, and, and flowers and gardens and things like that. You know, you know, stuff like that. It's okay about my name. Everyone gets it wrong. wrong. It's Lang is just good. All right, Lang. I'll just say Lang. That's fine. Good, good, good. Lang. Anyways, um, so we have one right there. And I'm not, you know what? That's all I'm going to spend money on right now. I'm going to spend money on the uh thank you i'm gonna spend money on the library well i don't know if you spend money on the library technically but i'm gonna spend money on the house up here and let that be and then we can kind of just so i don't like lose track i don't want to lose track of friggin like citizens <laughs> I, I tend to lose track all the damn time holy crap a blooming light post an arch and all that good stuff Hello, Alice. How are you? Hope all is well. Hello, Talisa, everyone. Hi, everyone. Just now seeing you live. Hope you're doing well, too. Good to see you, Talisa. Good to see you again. All right. So, yeah. So, we have a house building over here. And then we have this house, which is, you know. Uh, oh, this has uh, this has the the guy. The guy. The library. The, the future library. I think he lives in there. So, that's very good. I didn't even make a path from there to there. I'm an idiot. That's all right. Clothesline? When did this come in? Do the citizens start putting things out on their own? This looks like a clothesline. Yeah. Are they going to be doing their clothes out here? That That's actually cool if that's the case. Hey, what the heck is this? Oh, wait, that's a sign. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait, wait. We can actually do something here. Yeah, yeah. We can do something here. We can add... Where is it? Roof decoration top? Front. We can actually put five-star hotel on here. You already know I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend the money to do that. So now we have the five-star hotel. Oh, baby. Looking really good. Hello to everyone. And I am here, but also playing this game. That's fine. If you're playing and, and, and playing and playing and, you know, playing and watching, that that is awesome. I love that. I love to hear that. So we're going to need somebody to live um, eventually, right? Now, I could talk to these people now, or I could wait. And I think the best cause of action here is probably to wait this is remy this is gonna be our library guy that'd be awesome if they changed their own world that would be right that would be i haven't made it to a live in a while because of work oh that's okay that's all right that's all right at least there's videos that stay on the internet right if the videos stay on the internet and and they're there but if you really really love to jump into the lives don't stress about it because you're here now. It's all good. I like to get Olinder a new shirt as just a thinking of you gift. Oh, that's his roommate. You're much of a snappier dresser than I am. Though if you bring a bring me a shirt, I'll make sure to say it's from both of us. We could give him the sh <laughs> We could give him this. Um, yeah, we could give him this. We're never going to use it, the pink and blue one. Maybe he will use it. There you go. He looks like he's wearing the same freaking outfit, though. Hey, fantastic. Perfect choice of fabric and color. I'll make sure to credit you when I hand it over. Very well. All right, there we go. Shirt from Remy, and we got pink star glasses, which we've already had. We've already had pink star glasses, so it's nothing too crazy and too, nothing to worry about. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to wait till that house is built over there before I talk to more residents. I don't want to push it too far, and I don't want to lose track of anybody. So I think this is this is pretty good how the way it is. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go to our farm now. I gotta take a drink. Let's go to our, to our farm. Why do some people look, uh, why do some of the people walking look by, look sad? Uh, because you have to take care of them in a way. You have to take care of their happiness. Um, so if they're walking around, um, they might be, like for him, for an example, Remy, there's a reason why he's walking around not happy is because he doesn't have a job. And his job is to be a librarian, which is the library that we're gonna be building here into the morrow. Uh, so he will get his dream job tomorrow. So there, there's there's a happiness scale you have to uh, 
you have to follow along with and try to keep your citizens happy because if they don't stay happy they will end up leaving at least is what um is what i've been told in this game uh, at least that's how i've kind of put it you know with the game and all the tutorial and all whatnot but anyways yeah so uh we've also adopted critters right we've we've adopted some critters and we're on the verge of adopting even more critters we've named a couple of critters um yeah so we're gonna need to build one of those like animal shelter care centers i think that's what they're called so that once we build that our people can buy um our people can buy like houses dog houses so that they can adopt these creatures that we get which i am so thrilled about <laughs> i cannot wait to see that yes 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 Now, this little guy should be ours now, right? Yeah, okay. Very good. And this is going to be called... Oh, God. Who are we going to... Huh? What? What the heck? We're going to call this the uh, Snoo Queen. Yeah, that's that's basically what's what, what it's going to be here. It's going to be... Oh, God. No, no, no. Don't exit. How dare you. I almost exited on my own. Jesus Christ. Oh, can I, can I type, please? There we go. This is going to be the Snoo Queen. This is going to be the Snoo Queen dog. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we have a few of those. We have a few. We have like three, I think, critters. So that's really good. We're, I'm just going to keep naming them off people. Hopefully you don't get too offended. <laughs> I'm just going to keep naming these critters off people. Uh, what do you want? Do you want some playtime? For the next few weeks, I will spend, be spending all my time catching up on your on your content I've missed when I've been working as I broke my ankle two days ago. What the hell? You broke your... that. First of all, that sounds god-awful. That sounds painful. How in the... I, I, damn it. <laughs> that sounds so bad. So you're going to have to be spending some time off of your feet for a little while. My lord. Man, man, man. Break your ankle. I've never broken a bone. Never broken a bone. A bone is, like, even as hard as I go. Like, when I play sports and things like that. I, I've never, never broke a bone. Can't imagine breaking your ankle, though. We're going to name this one Alice. And the reason why is because we do not want to break any ankles here. There we go. Very good. <laughs> We're going to store that one in as well. All right. Awesome. So we have six critters technically. We, well, sorry, we have adopted four critters technically. And there's the critter center. Now we can actually build the critter, critter center. Very well. All right. That's going to be good for our people. And then they'll be happy having pets as well. Did I, was that a belly rub? I think it was. Yeah. Hope you recover quickly. Yeah. And yeah, no kidding. Hope you do recover quickly. That's, you know, even someone, <clears throat> someone else in chat <clears throat> and someone, uh, in the Discord, said they were said they uh, they broke their leg, also not too long ago. So it's like people are, you y'all be careful out there. <laughs> y'all be careful, man. Y'all y'all don't go so hard. All right, just be careful. What the heck? That fish just jumped out of the water. Well, these are the new critters that we've had. I don't know what he wanted. He did not want to change scratch. Now he does. <clears throat> these are the other new critters that we've gotten in. And that we've tried to tame. And I think we might be taming them today, maybe. They remind me of, like, I don't know. They, they sound like the demon door from Fable. But I don't know. I, I might be an idiot here. Pug is out of out of control is here. Pug and out of control is here. Hello, Pug. Hope all is well. Hope you're doing well on this, um... <clears throat> what is this, Wednesday? Thursday? Sorry, Thursday. Hope you're doing well on this Thursday. One week for us Americans until uh, Thanksgiving. And then, like... A week and one day until freaking Black Friday. Watch out. To be honest, that's the best way to name them so they don't get named thing one and thing two. Yeah, I know, like like random names, like and then I can't keep track of them, kind of, right? Then I can't keep track of them. So I kind of like the whole uh, naming them off of people from chat, like the first names I see. Sarah Foss. Hey, Sarah Foss. How are you doing? Good to see you. No, it's good to see. Good to see me. No, it's good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Yes, yes, yes. Hope you're doing well. We're just over here tending the farm. 
Thank you, I hope so too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get off that ankle. Get off that ankle. No, oh, don't shake. No, don't touch the tree, you man. You're crazy. No, we have an actual. <laughs> a tree grew on this? Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. No, no, no. Sorry, I had to get. I had to remember the controls there for a sec. I can't believe a tree grew on this. I'm off. I'm off. I am off work, so I'm doing great. Well, that is fantastic. Love to hear that. Hey, I have a question for you. How did you come up with the name Cans Alone? Okay. Well, I'll tell you here. Um, so, the channel was called something else <clears throat> back in. Uh, Back before you guys ever knew this name, I, I'll be honest with you. No one here, I don't think, ever remember. Well, there's probably at least one person that still watches my content nowadays. And that uh, shout out to John Cooper. If John Cooper ever sees this. But <clears throat> there, there was a time where my name wasn't my name. How it was. Um, the channel used to be called They Call Me. They Call Me K. Right? They call me K. You hear how that goes off the tongue? They call me K. <clears throat> well, when you have a name like that, it's hard to respect somebody like that. <laughs> no. When you have a name like that, um, it can easily uh, be manipulated into other things, right? They call me K. They call me... K. Yeah, a lot of people... Thought they were pretty funny about that. Anyways, when I was, I'm I'm the oldest sibling out of like four, four siblings, and so growing up, they could never say my name, Caleb. Really, because that's hard for you know a baby, a child, or whatever whatever it is. So they would just call me K. You know, so my siblings would always call me K. So I've always held that name or held that letter to me, even though my name doesn't start with a K. It starts with a C. Thank you very much. Um, but I've always, oh god, I've always had that thing, you know, as far as like, K, hey K, and then, you know, my fam, my family would start calling me that, and then my friends would start calling me it, because my siblings would call me it, and all that, and, and, and things like that, um, by the way, this is, uh, this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be Sarah, Sarah Foss, <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Um, so everyone just started calling me K, at least. Or KK, things like that. Or, like, then my siblings started calling me Cake. Anyways. Um, yeah, I know, Cake, right? They would call me Cake. Just because they were young, they didn't know how to say words properly. So they call me Cake. And they love Cake. But, um, yeah, so I've always had that letter with me. So with the name I have now, I thought real hard. I said... You know, back when I had like 200, 300 subscribers, that's when I had the name, They Call Me K, and I was like, you know what? I don't think it's drawing any attention. I don't think it's unique. I think there's other people that just, you know, it's back to the whole thing, like respect things. Like nobody, nobody cares about that. So I thought long and hard, and I kind of got an idea from a friend of mine. He changed his gamer tag years and years and years ago to something where he mixed his first name and his last name together, and it came off the tongue pretty well like the words or the letters in his first name mixed with the letters in his last name and i was like i want to do something kind of like that i want to do something uh very unique right so um if you're in the discord you guys probably recently know what my last name actually is so <laughs> so uh i was like hmm how am i gonna do that with my first name and my last name well i took the letter k because everyone calls me K. And then I was like, I'm gonna try to mix that letter with my last name. And I can't do that because my last name is A N G. Okay, so if anyone <laughs> this is this this is gonna like blow me up here, but I I don't mind. I have everything on private for the most part in social medias, but if you ever want to spell my last name, it's 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 a long it's not that long, but it's easy to spell out. All you have to do is Angel One. That's it. If you spell Angel One out, that's how you spell my last name. So if I put a K in front of Angel One, the naming of that was kind of weird, right? It'd be like this. It'd be like this. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. I'll show you. It'd be like this. 
it'd be like this. There, I typed it in chat, which is weird. It's very weird. Um, so what I did is I went back into the roots of my last name. I did the whole ancestry.com thing. And I found out that my name, my last name was never really spelt like that. Well, it wasn't spelt like that at first. My ancestors, who most of them reside from, well, they came over on a boat in the freaking 20s. They came from Europe. Well, Europe. They came from Sicily, to be exact. And uh, when they came over on the boat, when they came over on the boat, right, their last name was this. And I'll type that in the chat. chat. So that's, that's what their last name was when they came over the boat. And, uh, you know, went through all that. And instead, they decided to change a single letter in the last name because it was very hard for the Americans. <laughs> it was so hard for the Americans to pronounce it back in the day. And still, like, even the last name I have now, it's hard for the Americans to, well, hard for the Americans. It's hard for people to, um, <clears throat> to pronounce. So they changed the Z to a G. And... Here we are. <laughs> so I just put a K in front of the in front of my ancestor's original last name. And that was that. And then the rest is history. So there you go. That's your history lesson on how I came up with the name I did. I want to chop this tree down. I know you could chop these tree downs. There you go. Get on top of it, big guy. <clears throat> there we go. What did I see? Reminds me, reminds me of Call Me Kevin. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Love his con all. Oh. He's a gem. Yeah. So yeah. So that's that's the basis of it. That that's how that became that. And there is people out there. There's like professional athletes that have my last name or have the name with the Z. Like, if you've ever watched football, I think there's someone on the New Orleans Saints, the Saints, that has the same last name. I think his name is Alex, and they call him Alex Anzalone. That's his name. And I don't know if we're related or not. I have no idea. I have no idea. Maybe long ago. Maybe. Maybe somewhere down. Really love me. Oh, thank you, Pug. Thank you for the two chat there. Thank you. You love me. You really love me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, that's the idea. It's beautiful. It's beautiful either way you spell it. Yeah. You know what? I I agree. Well, I like the way it is now because anytime people have a hard time because if they see it on paper, they're like, they say they pronounce it wrong and that's typical. They've always pronounced it wrong ever my entire life. So I'm like not offended by it. I'm just like whatever about it and um, Oh god, no, no, no and and so anytime anyone tries to like if I'm talking to anybody whether it was like an employer back in the day or just people friends new friends family and they try to search me on social media or like Whatever I just say just spell it out just spell it out. Just spell angel one. That's all you got to do. Just angel one done that's that's how you do it, baby. Yeah, so Angel won. <laughs> but yeah. I don't mind y'all knowing my actual last name. Like like I said, there's not much oh stacked flower bed. There's not much I mean there's a lot you can do about it, but um yeah, there's you know. What 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 are you gonna do about it, right? I guess the people that are here for the live stream, they know. And the people that watch the replay, they know as well. For the people that don't, you got to be there, right? You just had to be there. <laughs> you just had to be there. Oh, we got another dog. Oh, yes. Oh, it's another creature. Okay, so this is a new one, actually. This is a new one. You love me. You really love me. Thank you, Sarah. I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. By the way, I changed the alerts if you haven't noticed, guys. Um, the mask has the biggest forehead of all time. There you go. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Uh, thanks for the explanation. Yeah, no problem. No problem. You love me. You really love me.
love me. Yeah, so I thought that was, you know, I it, it took me a while. It did take me a while to go from what what name and, and it's funny because like when I did change my name, then people started to like stick around. Right? I don't know. It's it's a weird psycho psych, psychological thing where, you know, names that stick are usually names that are unique kind of right you, you, there's not a lot of people or a lot of channels out there where it's like yo i'm so i'm subscribed to john 25734421 right no you're probably not so i wanted to make something unique and i didn't want there to be to be any um to be any confusion <laughs> let's just say that with that with with the name that i had before i didn't want people to have that confusion at all but yeah so i was like you know what i'm, I'm just gonna try to do something my own self and and see what happens and like i said funny enough you change your name and then people start sticking around and people start you know what this this is all good you know this is fine and um it, it's weird it's a weird thing i don't know i sometimes i think like if i had the name i did before I might have like half the people to take me serious nowadays. I don't know. It's it's a weird thing. Very weird. What the heck did I just do? Whoops. Gotta support a smaller YouTuber. It's hard to get started on here, especially with gaming. So don't feel discouraged, and keep doing what you're doing. Everything you just said, absolutely, is a hundred percent true. Thank you so much for the kind words. Really do appreciate that. One of like you can. Uh, I could even go into a freaking topic about that. But yes, everything you just said is absolutely true. Thank you so much for the kind words. It is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Is try to, you know, do this. And I tell you what, man. <laughs> I tell you what. In the gaming, the gaming universe, in the gaming world, it's so hard to start out in. Because it's so saturated. Everybody wants to do it, right? Everybody wants to do it. But it always takes a unique person, or not a unique person, but you always gotta be unique to you, yourself. And that's one thing I, if you watch my older videos, please don't watch my older videos, by the way. <laughs> if you watch my older videos, or like oldest videos, you'll realize, oh God, you'll realize that um, I wasn't out of my shell yet, right? I wasn't out of my shell. I was very, I was very confused back then and like just lost and trying to find my way, you know? and. Uh, Eventually, one day I found it, and um, I haven't looked back since. But yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's it's so hard, dude. It's it's very hard. So any little any small contrib uh, contributions and, and help like that always goes. It goes so far. It goes way farther than you than you think. It, it helps out the channel. It helps me out. Um, I've always compared to this so far doing this as as like working as an artist because like you never know if you're gonna have a good month or you never know you're gonna have a bad month right so yeah you, you just never know really and with YouTube and its guidelines and the policies and the copyrights and then and the things like that and the headaches side by side it's just it's just crazy dude it's just a lot to handle it's like almost it's it's practically kind of working for something without knowing if you're ever going to uh, be compensated, right? But that's 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 the point of it, man. You're putting out. You got to put out, man. <laughs> you got to put out. You got to put out. And you got to have people. So anytime you guys watch the ads, like that helps me out so much. It really does. Hello, Rose. How are you doing? I could understand that. Hello, Rose. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, Rose. You're good, but worn out. Did you just get done with work? I saw in the Discord yesterday that you were, uh, you were playing this game! And that you were loving it. I saw that. I'm going to watch them right now. Oh, please, God. If you do watch them, just don't tell me. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind you telling me. It's just, it's just funny. Oh, wow, look at, oh, we're getting some really cool things from the trees today. There's a, we got a mailbox. Which is really cool. So we're getting a lot of cool decorative items and upgrades for houses. There we go. Let's pop this right here. All at once. Right here. Three. Yeah. Three's a company, baby. Look at that thing go up. All right. Three's a party or maybe. I don't know. Something is something. There we go. There we go. 
And it's more to stay too, tr stay important, true to yourself. The people who matter will love you for being genuine. I do watch the older stuff now and then. I like it, but yeah, you have grown a lot. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. It's like being a starving artist. You never know if anyone will be on the other end to appreciate what you do. Yeah, that's ex that's ex exactly what it is. It's like, um, it, it's yeah, yeah, exactly like that. It's um, you know. You, you just hope, right? You just hope that people pick up what you're putting down, right? What are you putting down? Well, you got to pick it up, right? Well, hopefully they pick it up, right? That's that's the, that's the point there. And so far, people have been picking it up, right? People have been picking up. I was very happy to wake up this morning to... Uh, and yes, I woke up this morning to it. I was very happy to wake up to this morning to 3,600 subscribers. We've hit the 3,600 mark, which is crazy cool. I love that. Um... My goal right now is obviously the big 4K. Give me to 4K, not resolution, but you know what I'm talking about. The, the uh, give me, give me there, right? Give me there. So we're we're very close. We're more than halfway to 4K, and uh, it's gonna just get better and better, hopefully, right? That's that's the idea. That's what I keep telling myself every day. I did turkey. So many turkeys. <laughs> Is there a discord link yeah there's a discord link the discord link is in the description i think of the stream here if not then it's in the description of every video on the channel you can just go ahead and do that you were too tired to continue you head back to town what you could do that that happens what a speedy exit bella was worried you get lost in the dark why not return to the tree in the morning <gasps> that is so cool okay so that's cool i thought you could stay there as long as you can or as long as you want that's not the case. You cannot stay there as long as you want. So you kind of got to really uh, choose your choose your likings there. What do you want to do? What you want to do? Have this or that or do this or that. Okay, I dig that. I dig that a lot. All right, I did not realize that's how it was, but that's pretty cool. All right. Any business, I think, is a sink or swim day by day? Yeah. Well, any, like, like new retail... Well, I say retail, but... I, um, I, I say this because my mom just opened up a, a new retail business... <clears throat> and she was like the person that like currently well she was the person that employed me for like the last five years well now seven years if you look back at it now i've been like doing this for i've been doing this since 20 the beginning of 2020 so like well okay i've been i've been on and off from 2020 to 2021 and then hammered down from 2021 to now right from like march to now this year march to now i've been hammering down ever since but the, yeah she just opened up a new uh retail business by the way 98 percent happiness love to see that um so i go visit her from time to time to see how everything's doing no she did not rehire me <laughs> if that's if that's your if that's what you're asking or that's what you're thinking no she did not rehire me she cannot afford it um she cannot afford this no, not that I charge much. I'm just saying, like, the world nowadays is just insane. And, like, retail, opening a retail business in this climate with with not only just big box stores taking over, um, you know, with protocols with COVID and everything and all the rules that you have to abide by and, and things like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> uh, just, I wasn't in the, I wasn't in the, uh, I wasn't in the picture anymore. So, it is what it is. I'm not sour about it. We're going to go freaking have Thanksgiving next week together. And we're doing, like, not a non-traditional Thanksgiving. <laughs> we are. Some people might think this is hilarious. Some people might think this... Take this offensive, but... Um... We've done this, we've done this before in the past, but we're, we're, we're taking Thanksgiving to the freaking... We're going to the casino. <laughs> We're gonna go. They they at the casino at our casino here. They they put on like this local, um, what is it? The local, like I don't know how to say it. Like they, they put on like the they they turn their banquet hall into like a big serve like a big service where they have a ton of food and they have like turkey, they have ham, they have lobster, clams, crab, everything like a giant smorgasbord, and you have to pay by the table. Right, so like six people to a table, you got to pay that up front, like already, and uh, you go there, and they have like the giant screens playing. Usually, like Thursday night, well, 
not Thursday night, but Thanksgiving football and things like that. So it's a very American thing for me, I think. But yeah, we're going to be doing that next week. Not going to be cooking anything. Um, not going to be cooking anything at home. Uh, Danielle and I have never cooked Thanksgiving at home just because we don't know how. We don't know how to make a turkey and ham and all that. So we usually go over to family. And plus, for us at our age, I mean, we're just like, we got to go to family anyways. So might as well just go, right? Congrats on that. Will not be long before 4K and then 10K. And then I think you can apply for a reward from YouTube for that. You can apply apply for a reward? That's crazy. I don't even know what re reward. <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark. Accommodation check. That sounds pretty neat. Yeah, no cleanup. That's another thing as well. No cleanup. Library check. Unique flora and fauna check. Ruins check. And I, I'll post pictures on it about it in the discord too and, and whatnot and on instagram if you want to follow me on instagram i'll probably do that as well hmm. oh yes 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 oh. this will do nicely hmm. the real question is what shall i do first hmm. my nose says oh by the way i don't know if anyone caught on to this but i actually planned a king of retail um live stream on black friday <laughs> i thought that was appropriate so on black friday i'm gonna be streaming king of retail which is, you know, yeah. I think that was kind of funny. That way. Oh, I wonder what I might discover over there. Hmm. It's as much about the journey as it is about the knowledge gained about along the way, I always say. Wow, you're kind of a poet, aren't you? So, what are you waiting for? Feet? There's knowledge to acquire. Very clever. I was also thinking about doing, like, some new things in King Rito. Like, well, not new things, but like, oh, Black Friday. Let's put everything on sale. You know, something silly like that let's go ahead and claim another gem here thank you thank you what the heck dude we got hair dye we got two things of hair dye i'm so for it hang on let's actually check this out hair dye hang on, hang on. i gotta see this uh where did it go so we had like this like crazy orange daybreak Oh, like a, like a reddish, orangish, red, orange. Yeah, red, orange. Okay. And then we have a mossy black and green. Oh, I kind of like that. I do dig that. I do dig that. I dig that a lot. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we should have, yeah, we should have a new house up and running here. And you, my man, you are unemployed. You need to actually go, no, not that. You need to go and be employed at the library. So let's make sure we manage him. Where are you? Unemployed. Remy. Remy. Uh, Remy, we need you to go to the, the library. Oh, man. Oh, sorry. Right, uh, library. Here we go. Assign a worker. And we will assign Remy. Now, is anybody else uh, unemployed? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Nope. We just have two residents. Well, two people here. Oh, wait. This person's unemployed. But are they even... Oh, it's Palace. His dream job is the library. Okay, so we'll just add him to the library, yeah? We need another uh, job there. So let's go put another job on that, and we'll put Palace, which is the guy that just talked to us with the glasses. See if we put, like, a now hiring sign here. Hello? I cannot, for the life of me, get them living in, get them living in a home? Really? Or even find them when I got there? Really? Interesting, interesting. I wonder why is that? Tokens here. We'll put a now hiring. We'll put two now hirings on that. And then uh, roof color. Look at this. We can make it. I kind of like the blue on the uh, on the library there. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of psychedelic. Desert. Psychedelic. Ooh, rainbow. I, I, I like the blue. I like the blue on the library. Skirting color. Um, You know. That's not bad. Well, no. Skirting color, I'll wait. I'll wait on until I find something else. Same with the wall color. But I think it looks pretty good now. Uh, let's go ahead and assign... Oh, wait. I can't assign him. I can't assign Pala? Maybe because he doesn't have a house yet. What the heck? All right. We'll go assign someone at this house. Though. We need to bring in some new citizens right now. There you go. Look at him. He's all happy now. He's happy he has a job. Good for him. I think you get a bronze play button for 10k. I would look into it if I was you. I'm not 100% on that, but uh, I would... Oh, well, yeah, you know, I... I okay, I, I know what you mean there. 
Yeah, um, I think back in the day they used to do that, uh, but not so much anymore. I think the only thing you get at 10K is an email from them with like a GIF or GIF, however you want to say it. Yeah, I think that's the only thing they got working now, but it would be cool. I think they used to do that, or people used to make their own or something like that. Let's put some pizzazz to this. Pizzazz. Uh, let's do... Yeah, the cacti. Let's do cacti. And I'm gonna leave that... How it is. Cacti kind of blends in with the trees, yeah? In my hair. But here, I want to put a mailbox if I can. Can I put... They deserve a mailbox. Therefore, they get a mailbox. A folksy mailbox. Alright, so we have two potential residents that can go there. Um, let's just see if we can add them, yeah? So, yeah, let's talk to these folks over here. This is Wilson. Hello there. Um, let's talk. I wouldn't ordinary sail the stars for sweets, but Alira's bakery has a great reputation. I guess I'll check out the other sites while I'm here as well. Uh, would you like to move in with us, Wilson? God, we are re very close there. Uh-oh, what's his dream job? Oh, no! I want to see. What's your dream job, my man? Are you like a cafe type? You want to be on a ranch. Well, I don't have that. So I don't want to bring you in quite yet. I don't want to have you draw down or... What the heck? Bless you. Mary. Oh, jeez. Who are you supposed to be? The welcome wagon? Give me a break. Okay, that's very rude there, Mary. Hey, I've got to say, you've done wonders here. Everyone always says this is a nice, clean place to live. I guess I'll be joining them now. Uh, no, I have word on whether or not you're going to join them. And from the first thing you said to me, you're not very nice, Mary. Hey, 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 don't crowd me. I'm quite happy looking around on my own, all right? What's your dream job? A bathhouse? No settlement survival. Uh, no. We don't have a bathhouse either. So you guys both don't make the... You don't, you don't make the cut. You don't make the cut. I don't have those yet. Don't pressure me. I'll bring them in, but eventually I'll bring them in. Don't pressure me. In the meantime, though, I would like to get this out of the way. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, oh, 540. We're almost there, but we can't afford it. Now, he did say something about this path over here, so I'm going to go over here. Uh, one thing that I really need to take... Oh, we already checked out that journal. One thing that I really need to keep my eye out is um, is the day and the day and the night. Now now that there's so much to do in this game, um, the day and night cycle is going to be something I need to worry about. Stop right there. Oh, it's you. And an Ar Aram? I've had limited interactions with your kind since you were scattered by calamity. Please, we must talk. There is much I can learn from you. Oh, my, my, my. Where are my manners? I believe it is a customary It's customary to introduce myself. My name is Pallas. I'm a traveling scholar. I study ancient ruins in the hopes of discovering treasure and unlocking their secrets. Cans. Uh, what an interesting name for an Arum. 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 Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, pleasantries have been exchanged. What shall we discuss? Let's talk about your ears. Yes. How rude. Now, these are for listening out for busy bodies like yourself. What's with your ears? Fair play. Fair play. Have you never seen a being like myself before? I can only assume not, judging by your ill-considered question. I'm of the Biston or Biston? And we all have these ears and tails. Oh, okay. Hmm. Aren't you the least bit curious about what I was doing? You must be curious. Oh, well, a little bit now. You don't need to be shy about it. Come over here and I'll show you what I've discovered. Very well. Oh. If I'm incorrect, this is a cave behind this wall. Stand back one moment, please, and we shall see if my nose for knowledge is correct. <sighs> wow, that was pretty cool. Uh, I knew it. <laughs> Amazing work. I've outdone myself. This was very, very exciting, was it not? Well, I guess, yeah. If you would not mind, I shall explore further on my own. There's no telling what is hidden inside, and your sense of smell and hearing are lacking. Now, I wonder if, like, the cave and the gems and things like that are going to be stuff we give to the library, maybe? I don't know. It would not be wise to rush in as you are. I will send you once as I know the area is safe. I go right in. Knowledge is truly the best treasure. Fair enough. Oh. Oh. I guess you were right. Um. 
Yeah, it is not accessible. All right, well, I'll let you do your thing in here, bud, but thank you for that. All right. Very well. <clears throat> All right, well, that's cool. I'm glad that that happened there. I wonder, yeah, I wonder if the stones are going to be something that we deposit or do donate to the library for, like, research or something like that. Maybe. Uh, real quick, though, I do want to grab, or not grab, but I do want to do a little bit more pathing here. Let's go pathing. We'll go all the way here. Then we'll go here. Right, 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 right there. Awesome. And then this will then... I, like, I hate how this doesn't... Like... Well, wait a second. Hang on. I say I hate how this is like kind of sputtered. And then up here is kind of sputtered as well. That's alright. Uh, the library though. We need to have a clear cut go to the library. Let's go here and we'll just go across the way. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. It is a little bit funky, right? It's a little bit funky. Play that funky music white boy but you know it's fine it's fine where it's at have you done any alchemy or just the growing of the plants um if you mean of the alchemy um like using the copper top if that's what you mean if not and there's actual alchemy um then i have not done that i don't think i have at least so we're gonna go back to the farm here and we're going to bring in bring in the new stuff or do the new stuff hopefully like things have oh dude we should have damn it we should have well we, we can we can actually I, I i say this like it's the last thing on earth no we can do it hang on a sec i'm gonna i'm gonna go, actually go back to town now, i'm gonna start building or try to find a spot for a care center yeah 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 yeah, yeah. sorry bella you're gonna have to fly me back down there again and then back up again uh but i i want to have a care center down Yes, because if we can have the creatures come and uh, be amongst the people and they can start adopting, that would be kind of cool. Okay, let's see here. Uh, buildings. Care center. Where is it? There it is. Okay, critter center. Sorry, critter center. I keep calling it a care center. Oh, look at it. It's a freaking house with cat ears. How crazy. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Where would I put the critter center? Now, this would have been perfect to put the critter center, but it's not. Hmm. Okay. Um... Well, I mean, I guess we could, like, put the Critter Center up here, yeah? Yeah, we could put the Critter Center up here. No, no big deal. And I do plan on putting more houses up here as well. But there we go. We could at least put the Critter Center there. Um, and then the General Store. I mean, we don't have a General Store quite yet. But I, I, I am waiting on that. Yeah, I am waiting on the General Store. Because I would like to potentially put it over here. Cafe? Do we? We don't have a cafe. We could put like cafe next to the critter critter center. You could have like cafe, coffee, and cats. Like who doesn't want coffee and cats? I I, I approve. <laughs> I approve. Coffee and cats. Very good. Um, and then if we wanted to, we can actually put another house right here too. But that's gonna cost some money. We have three hundred and ninety-eight, and I need five eighty. So hopefully at my farm here, I can get at least. 580 because if we get 580 I can then move that stone path off to the left there and we can put in the general store if that makes any sense hmm <clears throat> I wonder how you will complete all the all of your gardens within a day would be nice if your villagers could help too yeah that's very true huh yeah I don't know how how the game is going to expect me to do everything I don't I'm kind of at the point where I can't do everything because it's just too big and I need to, like, take my priorities here. Like, I can't chop down every tree, apparently, obviously. Um, I, I could have the fodder. The fodder is probably for, good for the ranch eventually. I could pick the plants, right? I could pick the plants. Uh, grab the nuts and the fruits and things like that. Um, bring in uh, these adorable creatures here, which is what we're going to do. Was it a belly rub or was it play? Belly rub. Yeah, belly rub. Yes, it would. Maybe if you, like, start right when you wake up. <laughs> <laughs> oh god no 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 quit playing with the dog look is that another crit what is that is that a bug what is that no okay i thought that was another critter there we go all right we're gonna adopt this this is gonna be called 
Leslie, one, two, six, six. Oh, you can't put numbers. You coward. Well, this is going to be called Leslie. There we go. And we're going to store that in our critter center. Very good. Like here, popping these things, like I, I don't have a problem with just popping these. You kind of get some good things. You get money. You get some materials. Stuff for your alchemy, right? Or stuff for your man, for your copper top. We'll do that as well. Uh, ground candy. Look, we have like a bunch of gems. And there, there'll probably be a time where we're, we have to do something with the gems, right? I don't know. <laughs> I've not seen anything. I, I've, I've always, I, I don't spoil these games for myself. I really play them until uh, I, I see what happens, right? So let's go ahead and get this guy. Play a little play time with him. A little ball. There we go. We should be able to adopt him now. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. And this is going to be very simple. This is going to be... Yo, I messed up already. Shonger? Is it Shonger? Shonger? Or Shonger? There we go. We'll just say Lay Lang. <laughs> I don't want to embarrass myself too much, but Lang. We'll put Lang there. I'm, I'm still trying. Like, if I can't ever pronounce someone's name, I'll try, dude. I'll keep trying. I'll try and I'll try and I'll try <laughs> to get it right. There we go. Cuddle with that. Hmm. No problem, Leslie. Thank you for being here. I focus on the items in the garden. That is the sparkly stuff. The stuff that needs watering and singing and weeding. Yes. Okay, that's a good shout. Good shout there. Now, I could adopt these two guys here. I could definitely adopt these two guys here. But I don't even know, dude. Like, I think we need a ranch for them. So, I'm going to hold out on them for now. Maybe if I adopt them, then the ranch opens up. I don't know. You know what? Hang on a sec. I could probably check here. Go. Yes, go here. Uh, blueprints. Is there a way to get the, uh, how do I get the ranch? Ranch. Build three community gardens. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, there you go. There's your, <laughs> there's your thing right there. All right. Very well. Now, I haven't been catching a lot of bugs just because I feel like the catching of the bugs is such a hassle. Let's see our progress here. Our progress, we need four different insects still. We need uh, one more different fruit, and we need one more chest, apparently, for the progress here. So we're actually probably getting very close to our farm being done here soon. Um, which is interesting, because then once it's done with the progress, then do we move on to the next farm? I don't know. I'm kind of interested to see all that. But let's let's start catching some bugs. There we go. A gorgeous crawler. Does that help us? No, it did not help us with our progress. Oh, damn, dude, the bugs are just... They're savages, man. They're absolute savages. Now, these guys over here, they're kind of just chilling out also. Maybe we can help them. Oh, they're ready to be adopted. All right, so all the big guys, the big bamfas, <laughs> are all ready to be adop adopted. A cat cafe. Hello, Yavone. Avone. Hopefully I said your name right. Hello, Avone. Hope you all is well. Hope all is well. Hope you're doing fantastic. Uh, Vone, hopefully, hopefully I said that name correctly. Good God Almighty. <laughs> Avone. 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 That's a tough one. That's a tough one, but I'll sit here and try to pronounce it. <laughs> Avone. Avone. Anyways. Yeah, so all this stuff over here, this stuff all needs to be done. And this stuff needs to be done before yesterday, right? There we go. Fodder. There we are. I love catching bugs. I think it I think I got I think I got the 200 or 100 bug reward just sneak and catch. Oh, yes, yeah, sneak. I wonder if sneak. Yvonne? Yeah, it was is Yvonne. I didn't get it right. <laughs> it's okay. Yvonne maybe? Yeah, Yvonne. Um I I should be all you have to do is do this, yeah. I just walk up on it and then catch it, right? I think that's what the game told me before. I totally, like, disregarded it. Damn it. That's all right. Let's see here. Let's let's go ahead and make sure he, you got some belly rubs happening. Chain-ger is the sound. Okay, chain-ger. Chain-ger. chain, -ger. chain, -ger. chain, -ger chain -ger Oh, I like that. chain that, that falls off the tongue like friggin' cheesecake, dude. I don't know what I just said. Changerling, Changerling. It's like Chain Gang, dude. Changerling. I can just call you Chain Gang. <laughs> there we go. 
play with this guy. There you go. It's funny that the, the, the Critter Center... It's, I think that, you know, Cat Cafe, right? Cat Cafe. I think there's, like, a game coming out in the future where, like, you run a cafe. And there has to be, like... I don't know if there was cat... Maybe I'm thinking of a TV show. Might be thinking of a TV show where, like, some lady has a cafe. She built a cafe and, like, she has a bunch of cats in it. Hey! Oh, dang it. You only subscribe when it was funny. Hard Lady Angel Xbox Live. Thank you so much for the um, for the subscription of the channel. Really do appreciate that. Really do appreciate that. That's my new thing. I, you probably didn't really hear it that well. I might have to turn it up a bit, but it's Roger Rabbit saying, "No, not anytime. Only when it was funny." I just thought, like, oh, people subscribing. No, I'm not gonna subscribe anytime. I will only subscribe. Only when it is funny. <laughs> so I just gotta. I'm, I'm a nerd. I know. Get the kick out of that. I love cheesecake. Cheesecake is the bomb. Uh, cheesecake is good. Now, now, hear me out though. I like cheesecake more than the next person. However, you ever see those like cheesecake wheels? You know what I mean? Like the things you get at the grocery store, where like it's a cheesecake and it's split up into like five different flavors you got like chocolate strawberry plain peanut butter friggin sardine flavor and you know i'm kind of going far with the sardines but you know like like things like that I, you, the, the big rotational no i don't i don't i you know i don't like it i don't like that i i, I just want my cheesecake just one flavor please don't give me like five or six cheesecakes all together just give me one cheesecake i'm fine with that it's kind of oh god play with you it's kind of funny it's like have you ever been to the cheesecake factory well thank you for asking i have i've been to the cheesecake factory uh the the closest cheesecake factory to me is about three hours away i know <laughs> i know it's about three hours away i think the closest cheesecake factory is at our state's capital so the, yeah that tells you but um I've been there, never ordered cheesecake. I know, isn't that something else? You go to the cheesecake factory. You've ever watched like the Big Bang Theory, right? You watch the Big Bang Theory and you know Penny, she works at the cheesecake factory. And you think, oh, cheesecake factory, they must have the bombest cheesecake. Every time I've gone to the cheesecake factory, I've never ordered cheesecake. Because I order dinner and then I'm too full for cheesecake. I cannot stand cheesecake. I know I am in the minority on that. <laughs> You know, people, okay, it's not as crazy as this, right? You might be, you might be thinking, oh yeah, you're crazy for not liking cheesecake. No, what's crazy, and I know people that don't, right? Your inventory is bursting. You can no longer hold fodder. I not know that, that did not know that could happen. People that don't like, um, <clears throat> people that don't like pumpkin pie, that's crazy. But I know people that don't like pumpkin pie. And I understand it. But I even think that's crazy. I love pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is one of my favorite pies of all time. Absolutely love pumpkin pie. A sweet potato pie. Not a bad pie. I could get down with it. Sweet potato pie kind of reminds me of pumpkin pie. I think that's probably why I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry cheesecake is good. Strawberry cheesecake by itself is fantastic. I will, you know what? I don't, I, I don't, I like the plain cheesecake. Plain cheesecake is, is obviously the banger, right? Strawberry cheesecake, another banger. The chocolate cheesecake. Danielle loves the chocolate cheesecake, but she loves chocolate. I'm not, I, I can't get behind it very well. I don't, I, I love chocolate. Like I like chocolate, but I don't like a lot of chocolates. <laughs> I don't like overindulging chocolate. Like Danielle likes like the double, triples, fudge, brownie, delight, whatever the hell it is, ice cream or fudge brownies, like triple fudge brownies. I'm like, yo, just give me a single layer and uh, I'm good. Like too rich. I don't like too rich. Like I, I can't eat a lot. It's just too sweet for me, right? 
but like Danielle, she'll be like, yeah, give me a, give me a freaking triple, quadruple, double fudge brownie. I'm like, how? How? How are you doing this? That is like going, yuck, cheesecake is yucky. <laughs> That is like going to the spaghetti factory and not ordering spaghetti. I know, right? <laughs> I've been to, the, I think I've been to this. Uh, oh God, what was that place called? Was it the spaghetti factory? Is that what it was called? I went to one in San Diego at the gas light or gas lamp quarters, right? Is that what it was? It's the spaghetti factory, yeah? Uh, gas lamp quarters, right? Gas lamp quarters. That's the name of that little town there in San Diego. Right next to, uh, right next to Petco, Petco Park. Right next, right, like, literally right, like, around the corner from, uh, the stadium there. I actually, fun fact, that was the last place I ate at a restaurant before I proposed to Danielle. Was at, I believe it's the Spaghetti Factory at Gas Lamp Quarters in San Diego. Yes, yes, yes. I don't like pumpkin or sweet potato pies, but I love pumpkin spice. I just don't like pumpkin. Okay, so for the pumpkin spice, what do you like pumpkin spice? Pumpkin spice coffee, pumpkin spice coffee creamer, pumpkin spice... Pump, what about pumpkin bread? Do you like pumpkin bread? I've never had a pie, any kind of pie. What are you talking about, Queen? You've never had a pie, any type of pie. Not even like apple pie. Apple pie with like a nice warm apple pie with like vanilla ice cream. God damn. Well, apple pie, that's like an American thing, is it not? <laughs> I say that's like the most traditional American thing that you could do is apple pie. My grandpa loved, I don't know how he did it. This is one thing I didn't like very well. He loved cherry pie. I have no idea how he did that. <laughs> I don't like cherry pie. Not like that, dude. All right, let's see here. Let's let's try to catch a bug here. Let's try to sneak up on him. Ah, it works. Okay, cool. Very well. I like only pumpkin pie. Anything else with pumpkin is a no. I, I kind of have to agree with that. Except for pumpkin bread. I really enjoy pumpkin bread. Even like Starbucks. If you go to Starbucks and you like have their pumpkin bread. The pumpkin bread's pretty good. I don't like chocolate at all. I know someone that doesn't like chocolate. <clears throat> like, no chocolate. They hate chocolate. I am a chocoholic. I will order a two-scoop chocolate ice cream with hot fudge all over it. That sounds like Danielle. <laughs> Now, for me, I would I would not order a chocolate on chocolate. I would order like a vanilla ice cream with chocolate sauce on it, or like a banana split, like to mix it up in the flavors there. Right? That's how I do. That's how I roll. Are you talking about Old Town in uh, San Diego? Yeah, yeah. I think that's what it is. The Gas Lamp District, which is the Gas Lamp Quarters, which I believe is the old, old timey, right? Old Old Town um, of San Diego. I believe that's what it is. I have a picture of it. I'll have to share it in the Discord or something of us at the uh, gas lamp quarters. Um, right outside of the spaghetti factory. I believe that's what it was called. If I'm not losing my mind, it's called the spaghetti factory. All right, so I think we did most of the things that we needed to do today for the most part here on the farm. We did all the uh, requirements, I should say, or the things that make the island uh, kind of blow up a little bit more. So that's very good. Oh, what's... Yeah, that's all good. Okay, cool. All right, let's head back. Pumpkin spice coffee creamer. Okay. Pumpkin sp spice coffee creamer. Danielle, I don't know if she does that anymore, but I know that she used to do pumpkin spice coffee creamer. You've never had pie. What the heck, queen? What the heck? I would like to cuddle with Bella. Love it. The liquid kind of creamer. Yeah, the liquid kind of creamer. <clears throat> I would like to feed Bella. Is Bella even in here? No dog is in, in here with me today. What the heck is up with that? Let's cuddle with her again. 
There you go. Oh, look at that nice hug. Oh, so good. Put it out. <laughs> Alchemist Grotto. Grotto. Now, wait a sec. Hang on. Did I get enough money? Can I check? Where's my money? Did I get enough money? 488. No, I did not get enough money to move the stone that, oh, out of the way. All right. Ooh. Do you think we should invite the Urkin over for a tea party? Absolutely. Absolutely. I had a friend that was deathly allergic to chocolate after she got pregnant with her second son. She would make him eat any chocolate... Any, any chocolate because she was jokingly blamed him for her condition <laughs> that's crazy i didn't know you could like like i don't well i, I don't know like she actually developed it through pregnancy and stuff like that that's kind of crazy i've never heard of that before 100 percent happiness is absolutely king there um i'm only one badge away from completing all the badges i guess at the meadows meadow quarters yeah meadow quarters now i could deposit stuff in the alchemy but i'm gonna actually go back sleep like a log yeah we'll do that Danielle, was that place that we went to in San Diego, was it called the Spaghetti Factory? Yeah. Okay, it was called the Spaghetti Factory. She confirmed it. So yeah, there was a Spaghetti Factory. And I think I went to the Spaghetti Factory and I don't think I ordered spaghetti. <laughs> I think I ordered a pasta, but I don't think I ordered spaghetti. Your recent construction project is complete. Feel free for inspection. Oh, I would love to. This is the critter in the cafe, yeah? I used to tease her every every Valentine's Day that I was going to get her a huge box of chocolates all the time. Aw. Oh, dang it. <laughs> so we don't really need anybody here quite yet. And actually, what I want to do is I want to make this place look cute as hell. So we're gonna go like rainbow and then the sides like this has to, oh well this is the this is the the steps there uh, you know what we'll leave the steps that color the walls though psychedelic oh my god they could be tripping here at the cat okay maybe this isn't a good idea well you know what? I like the pink though we'll do the pink there we go token now hiring no we don't need that everything seems to be just fine there we don't have anyone to run this quite yet same with the cafe Mm -hmm. Oh, well, hello. How are you? My feet grew two sizes and I got a chronic heartburn diagnosis after. Oh, my Lord. Really? Wow. That's crazy. Wow, wow, wow. This actually kind of goes well with the uh, with the coffee. That's crazy. That's insane. Is it snowing? What is going on here? Look at they put more tools out. Look, they put a wheelbarrow out. They put a chop thing thing down. There you are. They are putting stuff out. Look at the heck. Where did this sign come from? They're like improving this place. Slowly but surely. Look, this sign is new too. Oh, this is so good. I didn't know they would improve the place. That's awesome. Let's actually go into the library, yeah? Yeah, let's go into the library here. Oh, wow. How cool is that? It's a very small library. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. I love to see that they're actually improving things outside and adding things. As time goes by. I find that extremely cool. Whoa. Okay, what about anybody else? Anybody else? New? Terry, a fine greeting to you, friend. I can tell just by looking at you that you have a deep connection to this place. Your dream job is the lodge. Well, that's not what I'm asking for. And I only want to bring people in that are going to be eligible for our, you know, for what the heck, dude? Betsy. Goodness me, a welcoming committee. <laughs> How perfect. Yes, I am visiting your lovely city, and I am already having a wonderful time. Her dream job is the inn. Now we could give her that dream job, absolutely. Um, about you. Always is always happy, 
Some would say too happy. Poor sense of direction. <laughs> I don't think we can ask her to, to, to come in, though. I wouldn't ordinarily sail the stars for sweets, but Illyria's Bakery has a great reputation. I guess I'll go check out the other sites while I'm here. So, yeah, we can't ask her to actually um, to move in. That's interesting, because she is, she is of, of different species, yeah. All right. Mm. Hello, James. Oh, no. Have I offended you in some way? Ignored some local custom? Oh, this always happens to me when I travel. Oh, dear. He must be, uh, he must be a prude here. Uh, his dream job is a bakery. Let's move him in. Choose with his mouth open. All right. James is going to be assigned to this house. This is going to be our new resident. Now, with James being our new resident, he will then be added to the bakery. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's go bakery, please. Yes, baker. Oh, wait. The bakery is full. Oh, God. We might have to get another bakery in. We might need to build another bakery. I hate to do that. Uh, hey, um, never mind. You know what, James? You're just going to live here. Oh, wait, we already talked to Terry. Terry's dream job was the lodge. Yeah, okay. Damn it. And we can't really kick him out. We can't kick James out. We can't be like, hey, thanks for coming, but bye. <laughs> it's not happening. It's not going to happen, I guess. But he'll be walking around until we get a new bakery, I guess. That's fine, whatever. That's all right. That's all right. Now, did we get enough money to move the stones over here? Now, if we get more of the community gardens, we can then build the ranch. Oh, we do have enough. Fantastic. Yeah, let's move that, please. Thank you. And look at look at the flower shop over here. They actually put a sign out. They have that going on. All these things are popping out. I love that the citizens are doing that. I really, really do love that. That's really cool. I really wasn't expecting that. It's like progression, dude. The town progresses on its own. I love it. Okay, well. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting a little distracted with the town here. Alright, let's head back to our farm. All right, yeah, let's head back to our farm. You're too nice. I would have kicked the other people out and let them take over the bakery. <laughs> no, they were there first. How dare them? They were there first. All right, so what changed here at the ha Haven of the Zen? Of the Zen Garden. Okay. Um, well, first things first is it's changed. It sure has changed a little bit here. Uh, we have these creatures, but we need like another. Um, we need another. We need another battery. Yeah, we need another battery for that one over there. I think batteries just come randomly, so I'm just gonna need to hopefully get one. Maybe cut down a tree. Maybe get a chest. Things like that. We do have the. Um, we do have the. Uh, the cave here that we can search, but I don't think a battery's gonna be in there. Hello, belly rubs for you. They're costing you too much. Lower wages for newer people. Business business, business 101. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's a terrible way to, to, to say it, but yes. <laughs> Get rid of the oldies that have been here for 15 years that are on a salary. Hire the newbies that will work 35 hours a week on non-salary um so that you don't have to pay them full health coverage for a full time part time to the max dude that's how i was worked back in the corporate life they worked me 35 hours a week just so i wouldn't be able to obtain benefits terrible 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 They're like no you can't you can't work the extra five hours to to, to be 40 hours because if you did you would have to be full-time and if you're full-time then you have to be you know you have to be paid full-time wages and you have to have the benefits and all that i was like oh well you know that that's great for me but apparently that's terrible for you yes son of a bitch yes son of a bitch bam hmm <clears throat> to this oh my word look at the size of this place you've done a wonderful job here you've grown a little garden paradise and i think it might be ready to bloom 
The Everworld Bloom, according to the old books, hey now, according to the still in their prime books, uh, when an Evertree would Evertree world grows to its full capacity, it blooms, uh, dis, dis, dispersing its alchem oh god, alchem alchem alchemical alchemical essences, pollen like across the vastness of space. They drift through the cosmos on winds of Mira before ultimately taking root in the cosmic ferment. ferment. And eventually, in good time, they sprout brand new worlds of their own. But of course, the last time that happened, the withering didn't exist, and the song was all around us. Now our only source of the song is you, Apprentice, but perhaps this is all we need. Sing! Let the song of Mira shake the shake the boughs of the ever tree let your voice be heard throughout in return of the wonder to the universe and return the wonder to the universe okay sing to the world seed all right this is kind of spicy i like this pick that up all right let's do that let's sing to this freaking seed dude all right here we go God. Amazing. Did you see that? The colors, child. Well, then, what's next? Ah, oh, look at all this stuff that just fell from the sky, though. A gold key? I got a gold key. Steampunk glasses? Alchemy battery? Yo, we got a lot of stuff here. We just got a lot of stuff. Hang on. Time out. A beak mask? Jungle glasses? Maid's bonnet? We got a lot of stuff. Pick up disc... Oh, distance perk? <laughs> I thought that said pick up discount. Pick up your... You know, your Walmart... Or your, not your Walmart, your Kmart... Discount? Anyways. It's a bad joke. Didn't land very well. Oh. I don't have a Kmart in town anymore. They took it away. They took it away to add a, a big lots. Like, not to add a big lots, but to add a second big lots. Like, I have two big lots and two Rosses in my town. And they're all very close to each other. A flour mill. You've unlocked a flour mill now. Interesting. Awesome. All right. A lot of good things that have been unlocked here, but I really want to use this battery over here. Right? I want to use this battery. I got to look at my cosmetics here in a sec. I'm going to be putting on some crazy stuff. You just wait. Yeah, so right here. Let's, let's do this. I'm sorry. All my internet is all weird. Ta tried restarting it, and it's still lagging. I will catch you in the next stream. Hey, that's all right, Rose. You, you, you take care. You take care, Rose. You take care, all right? Pigtails? Pigtails? <clears throat> How cute is the pigtails? All right, there we go. We'll see in the Discord, too, Rose. Don't worry about that. All right, so there we go. Um, now, cosmetically, I got to see this. Yes, yes, yes. So we got the... the <laughs> we got the glasses. Yes. We got the jungle glasses. We got the beak mask. We got the maid's bonnet. You know what? We're going to do that. We're doing that. We're doing the steampunk glasses. I would like to get shirts and things, but we haven't got any shirts and all that. Oh, look at us. We're looking fancy as all hell. Very good. Very good. Now, as far as this goes, I'm not really sure. We'll look here on the map. Maybe there'll be more context to this uh, into the next day here. <clears throat> Discovery. Seed. Top five rare. Oh, okay. Fruit. Still need one type of fruit and four different types of bugs. Very well. Let's head back to town. I think I went back to my house. <laughs> Let's head back to town because now we have some new stuff that we can add. Well, at least we can maybe clear up some pathway as well. Now that we have a bunch of money. Because we got a bunch of money for that tree. We did. We did, 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 did. I like the monocle. I have one for my Minecraft character. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's funny. Yo, what the heck? You put the wheelbarrow on the side of the hill? What the hell are you doing, dude? What the heck is this, dude? The leap gate? Enter? Is this like a rabbit's den? What the heck? Oh, this is cool. This is pretty cool, dude. 
obviously we can't do much here with this right now, but in the future, it looks like we will be able to. Huh. Look at that. Leap gate. Right there. A the little rabbit door. Right behind this house. How cool. There's like always surprises just coming through and surprising me. Like, what happens if I go up here? <laughs> Nothing. Not a damn thing. Very well. I'm playing Adventure Bar Story on the 3DS. You run a bar and cook recipes and go out to gather ingredients for your cooking to save your bar from a bad man trying to put you out of business. Really? I don't think I've ever heard of that game. That sounds pretty cool, though. That's awesome. The bar. Oh, boy. Now I get to be in trouble. I guess I'm trying to find those guys. <laughs> the bar. Food, drinks, bar. I dig it. I absolutely dig it. What can we do with this? Pop it. Twist it. Age diary. A terrible sickness has enveloped the land. Nothing we do seems to halt this progress. It burrows under walls, grows faster than any tool may cut it, and simply being near it saps one's energy. Worst of all, it feeds upon our Miura. I feel I fear alchemy is powerless to stop it. Very well. Very well. Oh god. Like I'm all about it, like discovering now. Look at that. The next chest here. Prospectors. I don't know why the audio went out there. That, I think it's because of we're by the by the purple stuff. Oh yes. Dark leaves. We're getting a bunch of wallpaper there. Dark leaves wallpaper. Very good. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm digging the discovery. I think that's one of the best part of this game. It's just walking around and just finding things. Look at this. Man, there's so much to this game. I've lived here my whole life. From this home, I've watched my children grow into adults and have children of their own. This land gave birth to me. It's part of me, and I'm part of it too. And that's why I cannot leave. I will always be part of this land. Very well. Awesome. Oh. Look at this down here. Huh. I love that the games are different. I have not seen what you are now, and I am on the second garden or something. I've only found one cave with a puzzle in it. Wait, what? The games are different? It's different every time? No way. So it's a different it's different playthrough? So kind of? Is that what you're saying? Tell me, please. Talk to me. Talk to me. <laughs> really? Is it different? Like maybe not too vastly different, but it is different? What is this? Oh, a chest. Oh, I need a key for that. All right. I hate the sound, though. <laughs> the sounds kind of creepy. There's a lot of blacksmith games that, but none of them have ever been completed. So they are only half done, and they get, and then they get abandoned. <clears throat> Speaking of abandonment, so, <laughs> I hate to say this, speaking of abandonment, um, I'm sure you guys are aware of, of DNA Army Gaming, and, um, well, they're at it again, <laughs> and if you don't know who they are, they're the people that, they're the devs that make Trader Life Simulator, Factory Life Simulator, um, the Falafel Restaurant Simulator, um, they make other ones too, but they have a new simulator coming out, believe it or not. Medieval Trader Simulator. Yeah, they're coming out with another one. I just saw it yesterday or last night. I was like, God damn it. The Withering, that's what they're calling it. It's as good as a name as any, I guess. There's meaning in a name. Uh, as, the, as this Withering is ruined, oh, is this Withering is ruined, is our ruin, is our ruin, I see, sorry. Yeah, so, uh, they're bringing in Medieval Trader Simulator, I think. So, you can look that up on Steam and see for yourself. <laughs> they are doing it. They are definitely doing it. Good for them, right? Mm. 
Somebody said like they changed developers or something. I don't know. I don't I don't know if they have or not. Maybe they changed devs or dev teams a while ago and that's why they've been producing so much so many games, like three or four games a year. They'll put it out, see if it does well. If it does well, they'll put an update to it. If it doesn't do well, they'll just go to the next thing. That's kind of what it feels like. What the heck is going on over here, dude? Yo! What the heck? Ma what is this? Nature reserve. Oh, this is a nature reserve. Oh. Oh, how cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Placid patch. Manage shrubs. Familiar pip. Manage trees. We have none. Manage insects. So if you catch the insects, you can put them in here. I see. You want to put rare insects in here, yeah? There you go. Put the rare insects. And then a rare fish. A rare fish in there. Right? Yeah. I see. Oh, this empty space gives me an idea. We've encountered some rather fetching flowers and some extremely huggable critters up in the ever tree. So why not a few of them put a uh, few of them put put? Why not set a few of them up down here in the nature's reserve? That's why we'd be able to cuddle with them as much as we like and admire the flowers too, I suppose. Splendid. We should all, all also be able to uh, dictate which trees and grass grow here, provided you have samples of the fruit and fodder in your backpack. Mm. Oh yes, all right. Um, I'm mostly interested in the huggable critters though. Oh. There we go, cool. <clears throat> yes, it really does seem like it, it does. I have a parkour word, a parkour word. I'm not really sure what that is. They really need to stop with the game, seriously? I know, right? <laughs> it's it's just like all the time, dude. It's all the time. They're only I have a oh, I have a parkour a parkour world? Is that what you mean? A parkour world? Like their 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 biggest success game was Trader Life Simulator. 100%. Biggest success game. Oh, look at that. This is pretty cool. I'm just exploring right now. <laughs> they need to upgrade the games they have so more people will purchase them. Well, I think, I think, I, I hate to say it, I don't want to like, try to put words in their head or put words in anybody else's mouth, but I think what happens is they make, they use these assets that you can easily get these unreal assets uh, that you could purchase, even like I could go and purchase these assets to build my own game if I wanted to, but I just don't have the technical brain to even pull that off, so don't even at me there, but, um, they go purchase these assets, put them into a game, and then sell it off of base value so that kind of like a clickbait sale right like they'll sell it solely based off of clickbaiting does that make sense so like you you're, you're advertised you're like oh this looks cool the screenshots look cool the videos look cool the description looks cool but haha we got you duped you know you, you've been duped right but we took your $15 and if you can take $15 from a hundred thousand people. Where are you sitting at, dude? <laughs> and if you can do that method of a hundred thousand people, fifteen dollars each, about three or four times a year, where are you sitting, dude? You know what I mean? You're sitting pretty high. You're sitting really high. Very, very high. Check this out. This is a cave. This is a new cave. Better to be discovering this. Bam! Small food boost. This is something we haven't done. We haven't done any of the upgrades to our, um, to our citizens or our shops very well. So we're, I'm gonna have to look into that too. Also, look at this. Let's. I want to see if I can catch this guy. No, no, no. Put it away. There we go. A fine worm. 
a fine worm. Hey, Swamp Dog. Or, sorry, yeah, Swamp Dog. How you doing? Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> How you doing? Hope you're all as well. Hope you're doing fantastic today. Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, baby. Give me you. Whoa, look at this place. It's like Christmas came early, baby. <laughs> Anybody else excited for Christmas? I'm just excited for the the season. Like I don't I the only thing Oh, X is a sneak by the way. Look at that. Um I don't like I don't get crazy. like I don't I, I don't Like I know as a child like it's so incredible like oh gifts did Christmas gifts under the tree. Nah, that's not for me, man. I'm like I'm like ready for the season. I'm ready for the for the stores that have the Christmas decorations out. I'm ready for the stores to have the Christmas music out. I'm ready for um what the heck is this? I'm ready for the stores that have Christmas music. I'm ready for the the weather to be cold, you know? I'm ready for all these things and just, you know, happy stuff. What the heck? This is new. Wait, no. Wait, what? Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, I see. I see. Button, 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 button. Big button. <gasps> Did I do it right? Oh, this must be a puzzle, dude. Oh, no. So if we go puzzle, puzzle, button, button. Send it. How are you supposed to know what this this is? Is there clues about this? Trader Life Simulator is a good game, but it starts to run bad when you get too much stuff in the store. Yeah, I think uh, I think Trader Life Simulator is the best game they have, but I, I haven't, I, you know, I haven't uh, personally gotten all like a lot of stuff, obviously. <laughs> In Trader Line Simulator, so performance-wise, I have no idea. But if you say the performance starts to dip, I 100% believe it. I don't know if that's like a memory issue thing or if that's a uh, just too many, I don't know, too many. It's too many little things, right? Too many little tiny objects. Too many little cat nuts and uh, too many little bottles of ranches, you know what I mean? Genshin or Gen Genshin Impact has some good blacksmith. I've never played any of those games before. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with this. I don't know if this is something we do now or we something we do later. Maybe we go red first. No, we go a certain pattern. Maybe I'll learn about this later. Oh wait, maybe that's a reset. How about that? How about how about that button is a reset? So let's 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 push all the green ones in and then go down the cave and see if that changed anything. It might have, might have not. I assume it has to do with this. Yeah, I assume it has to do with this, so maybe not. Ah! Let me just go down the cave real quick and see. Hello. Hi. Cat nuts? I know that's probably taken out of context. Uh like there's almonds or nut bags with or there's like a bag of nuts like edible nuts not you know like almonds and um and you uh what is it you uh th there's a big cat on the front of them the cat is the packaging of the of the nuts so i call it cat nuts <laughs> Yeah, so I feel like this this puzzle here has to do with this circular thing right here. So maybe what you have to do is you have to hit the greens in a particular order. And then <clears throat> the red just resets them if you put in the order wrong. You know, you reset and you go, all right, you know what? What I need to do is I need to go, I don't know, three, one, two, four, right? I'm not saying that's... Are you freaking kidding? Oh my god, dude. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. That was completely on accident, but it worked out. <laughs> what the heck did I do? I did three, one, two, four. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. I could never do something like that ever again. Oh my god. Like, oh yeah, it would be like, you know, three, one, two, four. Oh my god. Gold chest, baby. A treat back. Oh my god. Well, I guess if you're having trouble on a puzzle, maybe that's how to solve it. Three, one, two, four. God damn it. That was incredible. Probably one of my, like, highlights in gaming right there. <laughs> that was so cool. He was extremely lucky as well. Extremely lucky. I don't remember which one it was, but I really liked the game where he had to sell stuff out of a truck and defend himself. That was, that was trailer life. Not, yeah, yeah, so that was trailer life simulator. That's the one that you're talking about there. That one was good, but man, that, it was, it was like unforgiving. There was a lot of bugs to it and all that. But I, I enjoyed my time, but man, there was some game breaking stuff on that they, they needed to fix. Too much small stuff. That's why they took some small stuff out with the update when they added fish. Oh, did they take out small stuff? I wonder what they took out. The lights in the other room showed the order, but you found it. <laughs> Hello, franchise. Hope all is well. Dude, I... That, a good shout, by the way. Good shout on the uh, lights being the, <laughs> the idea, but my God. I, that was funny. The lights in the other room showed. Ah, oh, God. Did I... My daughter woke up just as you got to the puzzle. Did you get it? I did get it. I did accidentally get the puzzle. Yep, I did. That was um, that was what happened. And... Uh, it were, oh, damn. Why am I skipping through this? I'll take you there. Let's go. Okay, apparently we're going back to the Everkin. But we did do it. I did do it. Kind of crazy. Accidentally did it, but I did it. too earlier i kept guessing and got it in about in about got it got it in about four minutes that you know i just took a full guess but apparently there's there's actually a sign to it <clears throat> that i'm gonna try if i run into another puzzle greetings tree tender i apologize for bringing you here at this hour i hope you weren't doing anything important well nothing more important than i should have you stand within the tree tree heart chamber the very heart of the ever tree once the chamber was open to any and all younglings you wish to enter, the Evertree took joy in communing with the younglings here, but over time, the flow of visitors waned. The people forgot the importance of this place, and it did fade from memory. The purpose of the Tree Heart Chamber has always been to house the song within the Evertree. That is, until the song shattered and the withering crept in. You can see for yourself. Well, obviously. The Evertree's heart has been overwhelmed, and the song fragments are scattered. However, with your help, we may still have a chance. The Evertree tasked us with keeping one song fragment safe until our hope returned. Uh, you are the hope, or you are that hope. You see the importance of balance and harmony in the world, Tree Tender. So we ask that you, the child of the song, take this song fragment and restore it to its rightful place. Though we, though we Evergen, are the are of the song, we are not connected to it as you are. So, this is something you can only do. Please, let your connection with the song flow into this fragment. Song Fragment of Creation. The song fragment hums in your hands. It seeks the tree heart. Okay. Go to a leader 
Leader's Flower Shop. Okay. Pop by Broin's Bakery. All right. Am I allowed to theorize what is going on with this game? Not knowledge, but uh, yeah, yeah, theory is okay. Yeah, I don't mind. Who knows? You might knock it right on the head. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? Salt was one of the things they took out. Oh, salt. Like little tiny things of salt, probably, yeah? Memories from the Evertree flow through you. In the beginning, I was but a seed. Called into being by the ancients. There are many voices forming a harmonious song. It was the song that brought forth the sun and stars to nourish me. Over time, I grew into the Evertree. When my heart was strong enough, the ancients inscribed the song within it. I then sang into being the first of the younglings. Oh, look at these peeps. The Everkin. To them, I entrusted the protection of my heart. For it was from my heart that the song was Miura would continue to flow. And once the ancients saw that I was thriving, then I was not alone. The ancients departed. Leaving me and all of the younglings that would follow to care for the life they gifted. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh. Unravel it. Yes. There we go. We got a little bit done there. Yeah. <laughs> after all of that. After all we did, we got a little bit done. Wow. Wow. They did put a lot of thought into this game, didn't they? It's like the main character is the tree, too. Are you leaving? I will see you later. Oh, you have a good day. Say bye to the stream. No, you got to say it. Bye. Say it louder. Ah, she did it. She's coming around eventually. Have a good day. Text me when you're done. Okay. I'm waiting for Mumble to show up and use his happy feet. <laughs> so theory, the tree tenders stopped tending the trees. That's why this happened. They forgot to grow things in the tree. Okay. I see it. I sprinkle diamonds in my food to make my dookie twinkle. What the heck? <laughs> oh, everybody said bye! Oh, she loves it. Thank you, guys. Well, now, isn't that a sight to behold, the tree tender? With the song fragment restored, the withering has partially withdrawn from the heart of the Ether tree. And unless these old eyes are deceiving, me, I swear, the Ever tree actually grew. The light of hope is still shines in Illyria. The tree was right, of course. The tree was right. The remaining song fragments are out there still waiting to be found. I believe your connection with the song will be key in helping to retrieve them. In fact, as the tree stirred, I believe I sent another fragment nearby, somewhere in town. Do you have any questions, or are you ready to start your research? Somewhere in town? Yeah, there's another song fragment out there. Alright, uh, somewhere in Illyria. I'll put my most observant Everkin on the task of locating it. Don't worry, though. Uh, they're very good at their job. Do you have any questions or are ready? To, I'm ready. Let's go. Never forget how far you've come already, Tree Tender. But do not lose sight of your goal, reuniting the song fragments. The others will surely reveal themselves in good time. As we became aware of their locations, we'll guide you to them. And look, with the song fragment restored, the tree has resigned or regained some of its lost strength. The withering has withdrawn from the heart of the ever tree. Who knows with what this means for the tree's growth now, but perhaps a different perspective is in order. Very well. All right. Gucci, Med Gucci Mane said that. <laughs> is that a quote, quote, Gucci Mane? Oh, God. <clears throat> 
But I'm going to have to leave. I will talk to you guys later. And thanks for making my day a lot better with all you people here. And thanks for giving me a uh, so great stream. You have yourself a fantastic day, Pug. Thank you so much for the super chat. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Whoa, what the heck? Thank you so much for, for stopping by and hanging out with us today. I really do appreciate it. Sing radius perk. So it increases the range of the sing radius. Oh, that's cool. I like that. That's not bad. That's definitely not bad. Awesome. So we don't have to like put anything over here, no? Maybe we do? Oh! A song fragment has once rested here, but now the plinth is silent. Okay, well, that's our next one. So as you can see, all that work that we did, we <laughs> we made it so that we could have this. One little guy here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven-ish places to do all these things which is like crazy dude very very crazy do i go this way to exit yes <laughs> i do i go this way to exit apparently all right very well oh god head back to the alchemy house there are world seeds that need to be created okay let's do that wait where did we come out of up there Oh, we did. That's the door now. All right, so that's unlocked for us now. Okay, I see. All right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. I get it. I love it. I love to see it. Let's go inside, baby. Uh, okay, head back to the alchemy house and talk to Copper Top. All right, Copper Top. Oh, bother. I think... Oh, that's what Winnie the Pooh said at one time. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. I think these calculations are wrong. Ah, my dear alchemy screen. You can switch between the essence. All right, all right, all right. Extraction and world seed creation. Okay, so let's go to the world uh, seed creation. Here are all your available essence. Choose the ones you want to press and add them. All right, to boil. Oh, viable world see seeds need at least three different ver variations of uh, essence, but you can combine up to five types at once. If you'd like to add some new spices, oh, we'd love to get spicy, get spices to the mix. Why not extract additional re essence, essence from items in your inventory? You'll need to keep adding essence until the copper top is full. What a greedy gut. Uh, the amount of essence you add will change the makeup of the world. Oh my god. That just sounds amazing. Uh, just like baking a cake, I suspect. So everybody is going to have a different seed, yeah? Once you're happy with the mixture, press X to complete. Very well. Okay, so what do I want to do? Give me comforting. First thing I want to do. Let's... Oh, shoot. Not that much. <laughs> Pop it down a little bit, please. Thank you. Let's do 10 comforting. Um, <laughs> 10 cute. You got to go with the cute. 10 cute. 10 spicy or warm. 10 tranquility. And. And. 10 lush or sparkly. Um, sparkly. Ten sparkly. I love this. This is awesome. Now we're going to create this seed. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. Well, certainly I wasn't expecting that particular combination. But... <clears throat> or burp. Excuse me. <laughs> the seed's done. That's so cool. Seed that has the power to grow into new worlds. So now we are creating our new worlds out of our own essence here. This is incredible. Now that you've gotten a new world seed, you should climb to the tree and grow a new world. Oh my god. This game just continues to blow my goddamn mind. Watering can speed perk. Very good. Dude, that is so cool. I love that. Return to the ever tree and plant the new seed. Okay, on the new branch. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so let's let's whistle for Bella. Hello, Bella. Okay. All right. Look at look at now we have the nature reserves over there. Okay, 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 okay. So let's go to the tree. Oh, the different. Look at this. Wow. 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 Okay. Cool. Let's go to the seed planter, and we can name this anything we want too. Also, I wonder if we'll give us a random one. I just did this, and I love this game. Oh, that's incredible, dude. Oh, I love it. 
plant the seed, dude. And I hope, like, my mixture, like, my mixture of essence is unique to me, yeah? I like to think that. The Charming Realm. Oh, how dare you. <laughs> oh, perfect. Look at this green and pink. Oh, my lord. What the heck is this? This is new. The Serene Nettle. Oh, my god. This game, man. This game is too much for me. Too much. Like, okay, so one thing I'm really liking about this game is, like, it's not rushed. And you can you can definitely put in a lot of hours into it. You really can. You really, really can. And now that I'm seeing it, now that I'm seeing it live, variation like it's re replayability is high it's, it's starting to climb right and that's always important in video games at least for me my most important thing in video games is replayability sometimes and um replayability that's that's what i'm seeing here this is awesome again for how much was this game 24.99 i'm starting to see that it was not a bad deal at all not a bad deal there's so much to it. Yeah, I'm starting to see that there that this was um not a bad not a bad deal now. Whoops. Oh, I think you can play this many times. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think you're right. I think I think that is 24.99 USD, of course. Um translate that to your uh, currency, but I I think that's not a bad deal, guys. I really don't. For a game like this, a game like this so far you can almost even like you can almost pass and give away and a triple-a studio could make a game something similar to this in this regards and sell it to you for 50 60 dollars it's not happening here 24.99 they hit the button on that Another season incoming <laughs> and I like that you know you get upgrades as you go through right you get upgrades you get to learn more stuff you get to have new buildings you get to it's just all good it's all good in the hood and it will continue to get better and better as we get more buildings more citizens all that stuff right I don't think I have enough room for fodder but this isn't fodder get rid of that get the money baby Sing to it. That was really good if there's another season. <laughs> That's pretty cool, dude. It is pretty cool. It's a very fun, it's a very cool idea. Now, I wonder, and I am curious if they decide to um, add more content in the future to this game. If they will decide to do updates. Um, if they will do DLCs. You know what would be really brilliant? is and a lot of games are actually adopting this theory nowadays is a lot of games are starting to become okay they're, they're starting to become seasonal and i'm not talking like battle pass seasonal what i'm talking about is one thing that stands out that recently i've done and that stands out in my mind is um settlement survival games are starting to add seasons to their to their game meaning like you can get Halloween, you can get Christmas time, you can get Easter, whatever it might be, right? Uh, New Year's. You know, if this game ends up doing that, doing content exclusive, limited time offers, that would be really cool. Like, could you imagine if there was an update for like a couple of weeks at the end of the year for like Christmas cosmetics, Christmas decorations for your house? You could put Christmas lights on your citizen's house, things like that. Kind of like timed events that you could only do during that season. Easter, you could have like Easter eggs um, decorated throughout your town and things like that. Like, I think that would be really cool. I really would. It hasn't needed a refill when I was playing. One question is, is the watering can always full? Yeah. 
that's one thing about this is that the watering can is always full uh, you never have to refill it which is nice because that can get you know in some games where you have to like keep refilling your watering can that can get a little annoying at times right but yeah if they did like some timed exclusive content like that that'd be really cool See, that's weird. Hang on a sec. Norman puts up a point here. He says $25 USD to Canada is $31.50, but this game is over $40 on Steam. Let me, let me, you know, let me double check this real quick. Let me, let me just see. I'm pretty sure it is 24. Yeah, it is. That's weird. That's weird. That is really weird. I wonder why they did that. I wonder why the Canada, Canada version is $40. Because like right now, I'm looking at it. It's twenty two forty nine right now. Twenty two forty nine, USD. Why is it so much in Canada? Is there something that I don't know about when it comes to Steam and Canada and how they distribute games? I, I have no idea. I wonder why it's so much. Can I say this looks better and holds my interest better than Animal Crossing or or are those fighting words no <laughs> no those aren't fighting words i kind of like i i posted in a discord after i my stream a few days ago and i i was saying how chat kind of compared this game to stardew valley animal crossing and my time at porsche it was like a hybrid of all three of those games but if you like it better than those i mean you you more than welcome to, to like any game you want more than the other, right? The thing about Animal Crossing, I love Animal Crossing, I do. It's just, you know, the timed events or the, just the time to work. I, I hate being constrained in games where it's like, you, you gotta, you can't do stuff now or you can't, like the fact that there was a time where I would have to work late back then and I couldn't go to the stores because the stores closed at 8 p.m. in real life and the Animal Crossing goes off of real life time so the stores would close at 8 p.m. and I'm like well I can't you know I can't get into my store because I just got off work and now that I got off work it's freaking my stores in the game are closed you know what I mean I I, I hated that part alright so there we go we did everything in our garden here very good That would be cool to be honest. It would be cool. Sometimes when they exchange the ratio of money is they overcharge the foreign country. That's the thing. Like, that seems a little too much, though. Not all games go over that much. Maybe they just wanted uh, an even number. Well, if they wanted... Well, if they... They could have done, like... They could have done, like, thirty four ninety nine. You know? Like, why, why jump it to 40 Why not make it $10? You know, kind of like $10 more, I guess, in our sense, right? Let me save real quick. I don't want the freaking game to crash on me. Now, progress here is going to be a lot different than the other place, obviously. This place should look different. Yeah, this, this seat should look different. Hey, Muhammad, how are you? When did we start? We actually started a couple hours ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you doing, Muhammad? 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, to be exact. But the Evergreen has completed your latest construction request. How can we occupy their busy little minds? Um, I will tell you here in a sec after I check out some residents here. Huh. Mendora or Menodora? Menodora? Hail and well met traveler. What business have ye in our fair city of Ingle Nook? Wait, no, um, you live here. I'm just visiting. So her dream job is to be in the lodge as well. Hmm. Um, we just don't That's not considered the lodge, yeah? What is that considered actually? That's considered the inn. The inn and the lodge are different, yeah? pretty sure is there another resident that wants to be uh that wants to be recruited yeah 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 did we actually get this uh thing claimed have 12 no we need 12 residents now there was quests though there was quests <gasps> i saw in the trailer that you can create your own world in this game did you get to that part yet we just did that yeah we just did that that garden that i was on was actually our created uh farm there so yeah we just did that really cool 
really cool. Made it my own, made my own uh, unique island or unique farm with the essence that I had. So yeah, really, really cool. Kans, you're finally here. Perfect timing, actually. Come here. Okay. <sighs> Surprise! <sighs> I gathered the rest of the ingredients for the cake. The one I needed your hand in getting the fruit for. Thanks to you, now we can bake it together. <gasps> yes, but I don't know how to. You're so silly. We've known each other for how long? Forever. Of course I know that you can't bake. That's why today I'm going to teach you. This is awesome. <sighs> it's my way of thinking or thanking you for helping me stay here. All right, well, let's start. Hmm. Phew. Uh, thank you for staying to help out at the shop. We sold a lot today. Did you hear that the customers, they kept on saying how delicious the cake was? See, you bake, you can bake very well. It was thanks to your very help that we sold out all of the cake, mm. except for this one. Oh, wait, for what one? Oh, look at that. Hmm. Oh, what's with the look? No, I didn't save it just for you. I didn't even remember this was your favorite cake or anything. Uh, we just made it too much of it, you know? Uh, you can have it if you want. <sighs> Would you like to share? <sighs> really? Oh, she got so happy. Let's enjoy the cake together then. Thank you. I don't know if you can have a special someone in this game. That'd be kind of cool if you can. That was a nice little cutscene thing there. I like that. Awesome. The only thing that I can really say and comment on about the whole currency exchange rate, about how high and how low things can get, is maybe there's things that we aren't seeing there. Um, maybe there's things about taxes and all that that we're not seeing there. Potentially. You know, in different countries, tax differently. Dorian. He wants to have a cafe! Dorian! Welcome to the squad. You will be assigned at James' small house. There we go. All right, so we do have our first little s furry. <laughs> we have our first furry here. All right, so Dorian. Look, pal. Uh, Dorian. Wait, can we assign pal in here? We can't sell assign pal out there. Um, Dorian, you're going to be at the cafe, my man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Dorian is working in their dream job. Fantastic. Awesome. Wait, who are you? Oh, you're Mindora. I don't need you. Sorry. Sorry. So we have eight residents now, which we only need four more, right? Four more for the for the gem. Everybody seems to be happy, though. That's good. Uh, let's go ahead and build a... Uh, yeah, let's go build something. Yeah, let's build the general store now. So we're going to go ahead and... I mean, I, I hate to build it because it's like... This is the thing. If I build it, I don't have anyone to put it in. Yeah, or I don't have anyone to be put or, you know, I don't have anybody to to work it, right? So that's that's the that's the problem here. But I'm hoping that if I build it, they will come, right? If you build it, they will come. So that's my idea there. It's like field the dreams, yeah. If you build it, they will come. So we're going to build the general store there. Uh we need to have three community gardens as well. This might have been a perfect spot for all three of the community gardens. Now thinking about it, um, and I just screwed the pooch. Possibly have screwed the pooch. Can I change that? Delete. Yes. Okay, there we go. I did not screw the pooch. The pooch is fine. <laughs> general. Oh, God. General store. Can we put this actually up here? Ah, general store next to the critter, uh, critter, you know, place in the cafe. Not a bad spot to put. Now, what if we did this? Kind of tuck it in right here, yeah? Right there? Yeah. Okay, we'll put that there, and then we'll put our community garden, our third one over here. And the idea, again, is to, to, to build this so that we can have, or so that we can unlock the ranch. Now, these are a lot of community gardens that we just don't have anybody working for or working in at the moment, but hopefully one day we will, and then have the ranch. If it's, I don't know, this might be too too small right there for the ranch to squeeze in there, but you kind of see what I'm going with, right? Okay, so for pathways now, I would like to go this way with it if I can sneak it through, maybe? I can't. That's all right. We can at least go here. 
right? We can go there. And then this can kind of come out. I can't rotate this for some reason. I don't know why I can't rotate the path, but I can't. And we'll go, like, I guess right here. And then eventually we can go, bam, to, like, there. And that's kind of cut off and it kind of looks weird, but, you know, it'll, it'll work, I guess. It'll work. It's hard to, like, really get things uh, through here because there's just so, like, odd and weird shapes and angles here and whatnot. There we go. Very good. Awesome. <laughs> you need to stop screwing the pooch. It must be a little weird to do as often as you do. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. There we go. Awesome. Now we can get the ranch in. There we go. Ranch has been... Oh, okay. The ranch looks just like that. You know what? Actually, what we can do... Now that we have that... Watch. We'll do this. Check this out. We'll go boom. Go back to the building. And then just get rid of that. Yeah. Get rid of one of the community gardens. You need to have it. Oh, no. Cost smelly and mushy. Okay. So you don't need to have it. Very good. Uh, so in that case, we're going to get rid of two community gardens. And then in the future, whenever I can get smelly or sorry, not smelly and dreamy, smelly and mushy, um, I'll be able to do that. So let's actually go to our house and get some alchemy done so that I can possibly get the smelly and mushy going on. Look at our look at our town, dude. It's looking great. It's looking fantastic. It's freaking amazing, dude. But yeah, let's go and talk to Coppertop and see if he can help us with uh, bringing Smelly and Mushy a thing, right? Hello, Coppertop. Alright, let's see here. Um, I mean, Lush Bush, right? Icy, Parched, Abundant, Crystallized Miura, Rare Essence, Watery, Prickly, and Mushy. Dude, there's Mushy right there. Sparkly, abundant, comforting, lush, comforting, sparkling. Okay. Okay. No mushy. I'm looking for mushy. I'm looking for mushy. Lush, tranquil. Tranquil. No mush. It was just that one little pop there. We have three mush. Still none. These won't give us any. You can actually see uh, they won't give us any. Was that give us mushy? That will not give us mushy. Okay. All right. Well, there we go. We can't, like, do these, no? Oh, my God. We can't. What the heck did I just do? I did not mean to do that. Whoops. <laughs> All right. Maybe get rid of the eye contact. Abundant. Okay. It's not worth it. All right. All right. I see. I see. I see. Now, if we wanted to, we can make another seed because we have three open plots to make seeds. But I think I'm going to hold down on that. I'm going to make like do word and do like one at a time so that we don't get too ahead of ourselves. Right. And they have too much on our plate and things like that. Uh, yeah, because, you know, that would be just absolutely like ridiculous to have so many freaking things going on at once. Right. <laughs> But anyways, that's going to do it in today's stream. Hope you guys enjoyed this stream. If you guys did, please make sure to hit the like. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe. And I will see you guys very, very soon. I did not even update this thing again. God damn it. You can use a website, Steam. You can look at all games on Steam for price. And you can see the best price in all the sales games. Really? What? Is, what? Website Steam. DB. I'm going to have to look in that. Anyways, yeah, it's been a pleasure and honor being with you here today. Hope you guys enjoyed this little stream here. A couple hours, right? A couple hours did us so good there. I got to go back to making some more videos, of course. And then um, all the above, right? It's been, it's, it was cool. What's your next live? Um, If you want to know the next live, you can check out the um, home page. Um, right now, the next one is Prison Simulator or Prison, yeah, Prison Simulator. And you can, um, you can see that on Saturday, I believe. It's Saturday or Sunday, one of the two. Uh, but yeah, the, the next one's going to be Prison Simulator, and uh, we'll get that going on. 
And then uh, eventually I'll have another schedule back for this one. Yes, yes, yes. Another scheduled visit back with this game and all that. So thank you guys. Thank you, Norman. Thank you, Amanda Forever. Thank you, Talisa. Thank you, Muhammad. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you, Queen. Thank you, Norman. Thank you, Alice. Thank you, Muhammad. Um, and I will see you. And thank you, Sarah Foss. Sarah Foss for the uh, super chat today. Thank you, Pug, for the super chat for today. And thank you, uh, Hardly or hard, li hard Lady Angel for the subscription also as well. Yeah, you can set the reminder. You can always check the home if you ever, you know, maybe once a day, check the channel. You can hit the click uh, the home page and you can see which live streams are coming up and all that. And you can set a reminder so that you know. Hello, Stuart. It's good to see you. But uh, we are just now about wrapping up the stream. Um, hope you're doing well, Stuart. Stuart, hope you're doing all well. Yeah, so uh, look forward to the next stream uh, this Saturday. Right? Let me check here. Just to double check. I got to double check. I don't want to misspeak here. What is it? What is it? Hang on. Hang on. Give me a sec. Time out. Is it Saturday? The 21st. Sorry, this Sunday. This Sunday, we will be doing um, Prison Simulator. Yeah, we'll be doing Prison Simulator, and that will be all good in the hood. So, yeah, there we go, guys. Anyways, it's been a pleasure and honor being with you today, and I will see you in the next video, wherever that may be. And do as always. Take care. Six.